re-up on everything elastic and everything loose. I have my post-op appointment today and it couldn't have come at a better time because now I'm at a point now where I have specific questions. I'm starting to swell or at least I'm noticing the swelling. Now that the bandage is finally off, I can actually see that I'm swollen in one particular place. It doesn't seem to be responding to ice or anything like that. It doesn't hurt. Then in one of my incisions, I feel like this really, really hard. I mean, it feels kind of like another keloid. And because I've had a bigger stomach for, for so long, I can't see my C-section cut at all. All. can't tell you what it looks like even tried to do a little mural but I got a food pool. my energy level hasn't been bad but if I do certain things then it wipes me out I still can't take a shower every day I have to alternate between showers and doing um, whole baths because if I take that shower every day it's lights out yeah. oh and my skin is sensitive down there but I'm gonna take y'all along with me as much as I can if I can't show you anything then I'll come back later and let you all know how everything went hopefully today I can see my fibroids as well so I will see you all when I get back all right y'all Coronavirus got all the pamphlets, magazines, everything taken up. Hey everybody, I am back. Lord, look at my gray popping through. Oh Lord. But anywho, my doctor's appointment went really, really well. He said that I'm healing beautifully. He took the steri strips off. He said the incision is beautiful. I said that I have felt like a keloid was developing under one of the incisions. He said that's not. There is a buckle underneath of that incision because that's where he tried to emorsulate the uterus and pull it out through, but it was a failed attempt. So he had to close that up a special way. There's all kinds of dissolvable stuff still there. So that's what I feel. It will eventually shrink and it will eventually flatten. The swelling, he says, my swelling is phenomenal compared to what other people deal with. He is like, this will happen off and on for probably the next few months. All of that is inflammation. So taking ibuprofen periodically for inflammation is not a bad idea, which is something I have not been doing. I have my pictures and come to find out after they took their uterus out and they waited, he said it was a little over two kilos, which is the equivalent of a little over five pounds. That's what he said. Yeah. So he said, your, your jeans are going to fit you way better. I said, the crazy thing about it, they fit way better right now. And I am swollen. I told him that my ovaries are working perfectly because yesterday my husband went to the store and brought all kinds of chocolate and all kinds of stuff. And he looked at me and he said, what is wrong with me? I'm not stressed. And I looked at my flow app and my flow app says, you should be on your period today. So it's kind of funny how the body would just be like, I'm operating even though the system ain't flowing. Well, good morning. It is week five. I'm supposed to be at my doctor's office having my physical exam so that we can move forward in sex and to make sure that everything is healing properly. My last appointment with him was pretty much a surface visit. Looked at my scars, did all that, but he didn't do any internal checking. So this one was supposed to be the internal checking, but guess what? I can't have a visit in the office because we're in the middle of COVID-19 the coronavirus. So our state is pretty much on a shutdown. So their office is closed and they were only going to see patients on an emergency basis. So right now I'm sitting here, I'm waiting for my virtual appointment and I don't know how this is going to go. So this is why you see the top part of my phone because this is my setup. I have five minutes till my appointment. I might take y'all along. All right, it just told me my um, my provider is ready to see me, so I'm gonna jump in. Hey, good morning. Well, good morning. How are you? I'm all right. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Are you staying safe in all of this mess? I'm trying to. How are you feeling since surgery? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm having yeah. a lot of skin irritation and the folds, and it just rubs it's and folding over. So that little incision is um, is no joke. If you notice it's starting to get red or, or anything along those lines, a lot of times what people will do is use something like um, athlete's foot spray or something like that, something that sprays on almost in powder form. But I'm still okay. quite swollen in the growing area, yeah. and I still have a lot of that. It's not yeah. pain, but it's pressure, so I constantly got to move from 
sitting to standing to laying. It's like if I do too much too long, then I'll create that pain down there. Kind of a normal experience a lot of times when people have had that laparotomy. I think you're you're coming to the end of the of the course, but because we had to make that little bigger incision, it, it might suck for a little bit longer. But but. Gotcha. Um, have you had sex? No. I would say at this point things ought to be healed well enough that if you want to give it a shot, you can go for it. Take it slow and listen to your body. If you if you start and it hurts, stop. A lot of times it takes a couple of months for the stitches that are in there at the top of the vagina to dissolve. And so it might even be that your fingers or anything else that find their way up there might, might notice those little pieces of, of okay. stitch. And they'll feel a little pokey almost, like okay. like a, a cut short piece of fishing line or something like that. Yeah. But um, it's not, you're not gonna hurt anything at this point. Gotcha. If something is very painful, you let me know. If you need anything from me, call me and let me know. I will, I will. Thank you so much. All right, All right, my friend. All right have a good one. On that note, I need to go back.